Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going to wrap up our December favorites. I don't know where this year went. I'm sure you can relate. Ooh, it might be fun to do like a 2022 favorites. Would you guys be interested in that? Let me know in the comments. Um, I wouldn't film it until January, obviously. I'd have to go through and gather and yeah, that could be fun. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that. But we've got some good stuff. I found some really good cozy, comfy things. If you have not checked out my winter like exclusive beauty favorites, check out that video. I'll leave it up in the cards as well as in the description box down below where I kind of just go in depth of my winter favorites. As we're just entering into December, I started putting together or started using some of those winter favorites, but those are going to be my tried and true to keep you hydrated, dry, or not dry, moisturized, all the things throughout the winter, so check out that video. But let's get started. Um, I don't have a ton of makeup this month, but I do have two amazing ones. So the first one is a triangle powder puff. Yes, I got on the TikTok bandwagon of, what's her name? Alex, 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 something, I, Alex Earl, Alex Earl. She's amazing. I love her. She's just, yeah, she reminds me of what YouTube used to be way back in the day. And she's just doing it on TikTok. It's, I don't know. I just, I absolutely love her. So anyway, she uses one of these and I was like, heck, why don't I try to check them out on Amazon? Because I haven't used a powder puff really ever. I was always using my beauty blender sponge um, to apply powder. And that was no problem when it was loose setting powder because it didn't like clump or affect the top of my powder but since switching to my Kosas um cloud powder uh, I was noticing that the beauty blender was like dampening the powder obviously and like leaving a film on the outside that kind of damaged the powder I'm not gonna lie I like use tape to like remove the mess if you know that trick you know but since using this, I've had no issues with it and I absolutely love the way it fits. I don't bake with this like I know a lot of people do. I literally just rub it in my powder and press it underneath the eyes and things like that. I don't do anything crazy. I just don't. I just am simple when it comes to that. But I like how little this is. Very similar to the Laura Mercier powder puff, which I think I have struggles. Okay, so I actually feel like this is softer than the Laura Mercier one never actually use this but it comes in a big old pack from Amazon so I like that I can wash them a couple times but I can also just give it the boot when it's not good anymore so this is so much better than this um, personally in my opinion so I've been loving these little triangle guys for my pressed powder and then a lip product so I was in on the hunt for this for a while I love Naturium they're probably just like one of my newfound fave brands um yeah i just really i really like them and i tried their phyto glow lip balm uh i'm a lip care junkie i will probably try just about any lip product and i try a lot and i don't love them all but this one i do so i will say that 99 percent of lip glossy bombs like this end up irritating my lips even more i am a chronic lip licker I'm sure you know. Um, I'm also like a, I don't know. I just have a lot of expression with my mouth. I guess, I don't know, but I'm always a lick, lip licker. And I'm always struggling with finding things that, I don't know, don't make my lips more irritated. This is thick, so keep that in mind. Some girlies don't like a thick gloss. This is a thick gloss. It's not sticky, but it's sticky enough it's not un unnecessarily sticky. It's sticky enough to stay on the lips and it's not scented, which helps me not lick it off, if that makes sense. If I'm using like an everyday lip gloss, sometimes I will have an urge to lick it off and it tastes good, so I'm not that mad about it. But this, I feel like I don't have that urge. They also make other colors as well, but I just wanted to try the clear to see. And so far, so good. I really am liking this. I feel like it gives a really, really high shine. It's the right amount of sticky, like I said, and it just 
helps me from like it's an occlusive sort of moisturizer that I feel like just helps me from licking my lips as much so I love this stuff and yeah it does say you can use it as an overnight balm but I have an overnight balm that I like better but I do really like the tip and the applicator is really nice um I hear it's pretty similar to the um what's it called the peptide or the summer friday lip balm lip gloss stuff but this is obviously cheaper and you can get your hands on it so i'm happy with my pickup of this this past month and yeah i'm gonna continue using it so if you're looking for a good lip balm check that guy out um that's it for like makeup e sort of items let's move on to skincare and some other things uh so i fell back in love with my dr jart ceramidin cream and i know i talk about this stuff like until your ears fall off it's just such a good moisturizer for the winter especially if you're dealing with dry chapped skin irritation from maybe over exfoliating anything that may damage your skin barrier this is so freaking good i already have I know I mentioned this in my winter must-haves. I already have two on backup. Like, it's that good. I'm obsessed with it. It's like butter for your face. It's so thick. It's so hydrating. But it doesn't, like, just sit on the skin. It really soaks in. It's such a buttery moisturizer. It's not, like, an oily moisturizer. It's not, like, too jelly. It's the perfect amount. And right now, I'm currently only using it at night. But when I do get even a little bit more drier during the day, I will put this on certain areas if I'm, like, peeling a little bit from retinol or tretinoin or anything like that this saves the day i swear if you haven't tried this out you will not be disappointed in this product i really don't think you will i have used it probably for the past four winters and i know it's going to be my saving grace now that we actually live in like cold cold climate so this guy i picked up from the sephora sale and i actually just bought another one because i love it that much it came in like a set and the set i'm pretty sure is still available it's such a good deal you guys that i bought it again this is the living proof perfect hair dry shampoo advanced clean whatever this is their newest formula i have committed to using less dry shampoo and using my shower and shampoo more because I feel like I never really suffered from scalp issues or anything like that when I was washing my hair every single day all through high school and even through part of probably part of college um and then I got lazy and products like this came around and it was like well you know we were told that washing your hair is not good and da 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 washing your hair every day you don't have to but washing my hair at least three times a week instead of once a week maybe twice a week I'm doing like that three ish four even sometimes and i just find that my hair and scalp or mostly my scalp at this point is doing so much better but there are still some of those days when you're in a pinch or you touch your hair too much because that me I, that is me uh, that i do want to use a dry shampoo and i really like this one it doesn't feel like build up on my scalp it feels like i don't know how to explain it and it soaks up all the oil it is so good a trick if you remember and you know you're not going to wash your hair the next day put it on at night rub it in and even hit it with a blow dryer i swear it works really well um but yeah i really like this and uh, i liked it so much i bought another one it's that good um while i'm sticking more towards showering and washing my hair there are still those moments where i'm in a pinch and that is my like i feel like that adds less like build up on my scalp and just gets rid of the oil if that makes sense because when I was going for a really long like time in between washing my hair I was going towards those dry shampoos that left a total like like a lot of powder in my hair like the dry bar one and I still like that one but that's like suck up oils but also I feel like it deposits a lot of crap on my scalp where I don't feel like that one does so that's why I like it a little bit better and if you can get it on sale go for it um I don't think I'm ever going to like buy normal fragrances again unless Dossier doesn't make the dupe for it because Dossier like sponsor me. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm kidding. I love Dossier. Like I have two, five, I have six fragrances from them. 
this is my newest obsession I love the amber I love the woody sort of oaky smells I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in I did mention this in my beauty favorites but it's just this specific one has been my go-to um, I love those oaky woody smells if you don't like that then this probably wouldn't be for you but I remember when this fragrance came out in Sephora when I worked there and it's the effing fabulous by Tom Ford so good and it lasts it stays on sweatshirts sweatpants like it stays on my body and I love it so yes I do have like a not a code with them but I have like when I purchased they gave me like a referral like if you if your friend uses this they get ten dollars you get ten dollars so check it out if you haven't but if you haven't tried dossier like try it out what do you have to lose they have a 30-day money-back guarantee if you can find your fragrance that you already love and know and use on there try it out and if you like it cool you save yourself like a hundred bucks if not try out some other fragrances that you wouldn't necessarily normally purchase like for me I would never buy this Tom Ford fragrance like I don't I'm not spending over $300 on a fragrance. It's nuts. But this is awesome. So I am so happy that I found Dossier. I cannot believe. If you've not tried it, I know. Like, this is not sponsored at all. I wish they would because I already love them. But so good. Okay, that is it for, like, beauty things let's move on to fashion I recently grabbed these sunglasses I picked them up on Black Friday they are the Rabian um Lady Burbank sunglasses I saw them on what's her name Hailey Bieber and needed them so these are them I feel like they're so feminine they're such a classic shape they're kind of cat eye um and at first I was like do I love them but now I literally love them. And the best thing about them is they fit my face and hug my face so well that I feel like they're not falling off my face. Um, they're great. I love these and I'm so happy that I picked them up. Um, I don't know where my little circle Ray-Bans went. I would love to find those because they were one of my favorite sunglasses, but I feel like maybe I lost them in the shuffle of the move. Not sure, but these have been a favorite and I wear them all the time if you watch my vlog channel you know okay some sake socks i bought these specifically from target to wear with my next oh no i'm gonna drop things my next uh, oh no my next favorite which i guess i can talk about these first these i got like maybe two weeks ago and i've worn them so much i'm obsessed so these are the ugg dupes these are the amazon dupes I would size up if you're in between sizes I'm like a six and a half and I got a seven in them you can't find Uggs pretty much anywhere they're sold out just like the Birkenstock clogs um the internet's a crazy thing but I wanted them because I thought these would be a good first of all house slipper or second of all a good like winterized version of my Birkenstock clogs because they're like a slip-on cloggy situation so I was like yes I need these and I don't regret getting them at all. They were 50 bucks. So I was like, 50 bucks for dupes? But I was like, I don't care if they look the same. I just want them to be nice. And they are nice. They're not the same fluff inside. Um, if you watch my vlog channel, you know that I that I did like a little like review, like comparison. They're not exactly the same color, but I don't actually know because my old Uggs were, have been washed or worn a million times. So it might have changed as well. The fur is like kind of like a... I don't know it's not like the Ugg fur but it's fur lined throughout these soles are rubber which I actually like better than the like kind of cork sort of bottom that's on the regular Uggs um and they're a little bit heavier than my other Uggs but I love these I wear these as house slippers mostly but I do feel like I would wear them out and about and if I do wear them out and about I got these little socks for either my um Birkenstock clogs or the Uggs. So I got these little three pack. I love these sort of like marbled um, socks from Target. I pretty much always have a pair. I have some really high ones that Scott's mom got me, but then I wanted these little like ankle ones that are just enough to wear with like joggers and things. I wear these with my Uggs around the house and I just feel like they can also look really cute um, poking out the bottom of like cuffed jeans, joggers, anything like that. But this little set is really nice from Target and I've been wearing it a ton obviously they all have matches but you get the drape 
you get the drift. I bought another set of socks when I was there, but these are my favorite and these are the ones I prefer. I like the way they hit on my ankle and I like the color combo, but I think they have others if you don't. Speaking of Target though, I mean, if you watch my vlog channel at all, you know I lived, I've lived in this suit ever since I bought it. Okay, so long story short, I bought these sweatpants originally back when I was pregnant in a size medium because I was growing a baby inside of me, right? Um, and I got paint on them, but they've still always been my most favorite sweatpants, even though they like fall off my booty. I have to tie them so tight. They're just really oversized. And I didn't even know they still made them, but I still wore them all the time. I got acrylic paint on them and it made me sad, but I still wear them, literally, to go to bed, to chill around the house all the time. They're my most favorite, softest, lived in, thin sweatpants ever. And I didn't realize they made them until I was in Target the other day. They still have them. They're the Stars Above brand and I got it in a small and then they made a matching sweatshirt that wasn't cropped. Hallelujah, I'm kind of over the full cropped thing. If I want to be in a sweatsuit, I don't necessarily want to be cropped in the winter. I want like full coverage, you know? So I got the sweatshirt though. I will say it runs like slightly small. If you don't want it tight, go up a size. I got it in a medium and the pants run slightly big. So you, I could have gone to an extra small in the pants for a more fitted but still loose fit because they kind of stretch and I don't wear, wash them every single time. But my favorite. I am literally so happy about this sweatsuit. It's so good and I live in it and I think I bought it when it was on like killer sale, but even full price, I think it's like 40 bucks for the whole set. Um, but I think I got it for like less than 30 because it was like on sale. So check it out. They're so good. They have other colors as well, like a cheetah, but I liked the gray. And then I've done a couple of hauls on my channel recently. Um, and Walmart was a brand that I partnered with this month and I absolutely fell in love with this coat. Like I could not, I can't even explain that it's like, doesn't feel like it's from Walmart. It literally feels like it's from Abercrombie. And I can say that because I have so many Abercrombie coats. But this is just the most perfect little tan sort of like dress coat sort of thing. It doesn't have to be dressy, but it can be. I love this. It's lined. It's, I mean, it's not wool or anything like that. I want to say it's just like polyester. So it's not the warmest jacket in the world. But the fit on this thing is stunning for the freaking like, no, it's just stunning in general. I would pay more money than this. You will not believe that it's this cheap. I swear it should be a $200 jacket, but it's not. Everything about it is phenomenal. I will say that it wrinkles kind of easily, so make sure you keep it hung up. The minute I like fold it, it wrinkles a little, but you can steam it out, it's no big deal. Um, but this, yes, I needed it. I have only like a really large trench coat sort of one, so I wanted sort of like a one that you could still wear around the house, and it's not the house, but indoors as like it is the outfit sort of jacket. You know what I mean. And then the last fashion piece is this little um, vest that I got from Revolve. This is by Super Down, which is their like in-home brand that's like super affordable and I love it. Um, but I got this little puffer vest. I had had a vest like this from Patagonia, but I never really wear it with like nicer clothes because it's like an outdoor brand, but not even that. It bungees around the arms. So like large sweatpants and sweatshirts, like it like, bunches up if you know you know what I mean I like this one because it has like kind of like shoulder ish looking pads it's not shoulder pads but they kind of like point out and give an illusion of just like I don't know a little bit of extra things it's like um quilted and I really like this vest a lot and I was really impressed for the quality uh with the quality and um also just like in general how affordable super down is on revolve I'm a big fan so that is my last fashion favorite I love wearing that over the top of really casual outfits to just kind of just like make it a little bit warmer or also just add a different you know look to the outfit okay let's move into my randomy homey sort of things the first one is going to be my humidifier that I purchased on Black Friday <sighs> I don't know how I lived without it. I honestly need to buy one for Arlo's room, but I love that it has three settings on it and the tank is big enough to fit two days full of water in it. And I've been running it consistently. By the way, I do also let it go all the way out. Like I let it drain all the way, but no like moldy, musty buildup or anything like that yet. And I'm very happy about that. Um, 
I love just like pointing it on my face so I just feel like hydration is happening while I'm sleeping obviously helps with sickness there's so many benefits to a humidifier but I love this one I went back and forth on a couple and never pulled the trigger but that one was on sale for Black Friday but even full price it's really not that expensive and I'm so happy that I finally got one I freaking love it and I feel like it does help with the hydration of my skin when I'm sleeping so yes to that and just helps me wake up not so dry and my nose and my mouth and all that stuff but it's supposed to help with sickness as well um so yes love that thing highly recommend getting one if you are looking for one for the winter if you just have a lot of dryness I suffer from static like my hair gets super staticky just like I'm a static cling machine all right moving into like food be mostly beverages I have a lot of beverages okay Dunkin Donuts I have been sleeping on Dunkin Donuts I think I've had Dunkin Donuts like once a week <laughs> maybe more than once a week I think I've had it like five times during this vlogmas and we're not even done with it so I am doing vlogmas on my vlog channel if you don't know but uh yeah I've been in love with the cookie butter cold brew I get it half sweet and the peanut butter swirl no sugar add cream peanut butter cup swirl I don't know it's so good um, I need to download the app I haven't been in a while I don't get coffee out of the house very often I just kind of find it to be like a waste of money when we have really good coffee at home but I like to treat myself every once in a while especially if I have a lot of errands to run and that has been my go-to I've kind of skipped Starbucks the only reason I went to Starbucks this month was to get my birthday drink besides that, I have not been which is kind of nuts I'm preferring Duncan right now and it's hecka close to my house so then liquid IV released a new um, immunity drink you guys know I'm like a full advocate for liquid IV and I am an affiliate with them but it, even before then I was converted to liquid IV through Scott and they've only ever had tangerine flavored immunity um, which has like okay so the immunity the difference is it has 560% of your daily value of vitamin C holy manolis beta glucan I can never say that and then 100% of your va daily value of zinc so it helps with just kind of building your immunity through these horrible times especially if you have a toddler who is basically a walking petri dish yes i love him but he still carries a lot of sickness so love this the berry flavor is so good tangerine is still my fave but this is a close second so if you've not tried liquid iv they make great great flavors that I swear you'll find something you love so if you have not tried liquid AV I highly recommend trying their immunity line I think you can't go wrong especially during the season but the tangerine is still my favorite but the berry is my second favorite of the entire line I would drink all immunity if they made immunity in every single flavor because it's my favorite so check them out I do have a coupon code I think I don't think I don't know what it's for um, the percentage but I will link it here as well as in the description box down below I know a lot of you are big fans of liquid IV um, and then moving along this guy I feel like everyone raves about this from Trader Joe's the candy cane green tea decaffeinated tea this honestly resells on Amazon for like so much money during the holiday season when it sells out of Trader Joe's it's nuts um, because Scott's mom really likes it and I got some for her last year and so I got it for her when she was here and she's like no we just keep it it's fine um she didn't bring it home with her and so I was like okay I tried it and I love it she puts sugar in hers and she likes it with sugar I like plain black tea I have no problem with it so I love this it's the like I said candy cane green tea but it's decaf so you can drink it before bed and throughout the day and not feel like you're adding extra caffeine um I was not a peppermint tea fan at all but this is not like in your face peppermint it's like the right amount and I love it my only complaint is I wish I had strings on the tea bag but it is what it is um this thing's good and I highly recommend if you're in Trader Joe's and they still have it in stock grab it so those that's it those are all of my <laughs> December favorites holy crap I cannot believe we're wrapping up another year I feel like everyone always says that but the older you get the quicker time goes by so I hope you all have a great holiday season spend it with people you love whether that's family friends co-workers anything just spend it with people you love if you have that opportunity I love you guys so much thank you for all of your support throughout this entire year and I am so excited 
to continue sharing my life and my love of everything with you guys in this next year. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in my next video.